This is my entire $50,000 shoe collection. Welcome to the Mark Boudelier Show, where we show Johns and sometimes Drip. Drip or drown, baby. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is I, Mark, Mark Boudelier, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys my entire shoe collection. For whatever reason, you guys love shoe content. That's on Instagram, that's on TikTok as well. And I haven't really done like a shoe rotation video or like a collection video in quite some time. So we're gonna do that today. But before I get started, if you're new here, hi, welcome and subscribe. Hit the push notification bell, do all that fun stuff. If we can get this video to 500 likes, that would be... That'd be cool. I don't know. Maybe I would do a giveaway. Probably not. We'll start with some lesser worn stuff. So first up, we have these DMAs. They're in collaboration with Bybor. Bybor does a bunch of really cool technical fabrics that you can sort of see on the base of the shoe. Otherwise, it's really just a traditional hiking shoe silhouette. But these are super nice. I don't wear them too, too often. Next up, we have these thrifted loafers. They are from the brand Mobs. I don't really know what that is, but I feel like these are like 90s or 2000s maybe. They're square toe. They look very similar to the Martine Rose loafers. I actually get a lot of comments about that. I don't don't wear these much anymore because there's like no traction on them whatsoever so they're not the most comfortable but I love the teal color I love the square toe next up we have the most recent acquisition these were gifted from DC it is the collaboration between DC and needles this collab is honestly pretty cool they sent some clothing items too but this is a shoe video so I'm not gonna show those before anyone asks I don't skate I will not do a kickflip I do not know how I tried to skate one time when I was really young and I was doing it in the garage and I hit my head really hard and it hurts so don't do that anymore. Moving on, we have these Needles X Snow Peak Tokyo Design Neobiums. I think that's what they're called. They're like the three-in-one shoes. I've had these for quite some time now. They look kind of ridiculous because they're not connected properly, but really great for the rain. They're waterproof, going on little hikes, wearing silly little gorpy fits, all of those things these are quite good for. Next up, we have these Asics. They look almost identical to the downed Asics, which, um, I hate Jound, but I do like the ASICS collab, but mostly just because they're a normal looking ASICS, which these are too, so these are solid. Next up, we have the Ricky Dickies, the Rick Cons. These are the most recent collaboration. They're the double bumper. I used to have a pair of the regular platform Converse. I kind of just wanted that again. I will say, I think I like the regular platforms better than the Ricky ones, but these are still great as well. Now we're gonna get into some of my most worn shoes. We have these Toga Virilis Western style boots. These are great. I wear them a lot with like flares and stuff like that, denim, etc. And I've really beaten them up, as you can tell. And speaking of beaten up shoes, we have these 80s Ortega Chelsea boots, which look at the bottom. They are a crepe sole. These things are absolutely cooked. I really need to probably get these fixed as well as maybe like clean the leather on them. Next up, you know them, you love them. They are the airbag tabussies. Recently, I haven't really been going for them too much, but I feel like in the next month or two, I'll probably come back around and start wearing them like every other day. It seems to be how it usually goes. I like the little silly little airbag tabussy. Next up, I don't really wear too many sneakers, even though I do have a fair amount in this video, but the ones I usually go for are a little more out there, I guess have some sort of details that I find interesting. So for these, these are the Anderson Bell Proto Blast Asics. I really like the sort of like lacing mechanism that kind of goes throughout the shoe. I love how like pronounced the sole is. They're also like very, very squishy. So when you walk, you're like literally bouncing. It feels like you're walking on clouds. Next up, if you were to buy one sneaker and one sneaker only, I feel like the Margiela Gat is kind of the way to go. They're pretty comfortable. They go with pretty much everything. They look really good with like vintage stuff. They look really good cooked. I bought these secondhand for 150 bucks. And to be honest, I've worn them a bunch, but they look about the same as when I first got them. Next up, we have something a little bit more out there though. We got the BBS Solomons. These are in the bright pink color. I kind of just wanted something a little louder because all of my shoes for the most part are black or white. So I thought this would be a good switch up. They're pretty beat up. Next up, we have a couple pairs of derbies. First, we have the Paraboot Michaels. They have this little pony fur on the tongue. Just a good classic pair of derbs. And the other is probably one of my most worn pairs of shoes as of lately. It is the Bottega Stilt Derbies with the translucent sole. I love how sort of tall this um, sole is. And it's just a very like 
kind of out there silhouette, very clown-like, but in a way that I can kind of appreciate. I also have these Marcel Derbies. They are white. They're kind of hard to wear. I haven't actually gotten to wear them yet because this little back sole is like so pronounced that I feel like I need a pair of pants that's like super wide and kind of can go over them. And uh, I don't know, I just haven't really found the outfit for them yet, but I will. Now let's get into some of my little slides slash sandals. Probably my most worn pair are these Stussy Birkenstocks. These are absolutely cooked. For those days that you just don't feel like putting on a shoe, maybe you wear one of the super uncomfortable ones and then the next day your heels are all destroyed so you put these on. That's kind of what these have been for me lately. Next we have this pair of Keen Uniques. They have like sort of this interesting like bungee cord looking thing going on with them. In some ways they're just like super ugly, but in other ways they're pretty cool. I've worn them a handful of times. They're very cozy. Not that hard to wear once you sort of like figure it out, I guess. Next we have these kind of ugly bright orange Sui Cokes, Sukakis. Got these at Buffalo Exchange when I worked there. They were like 20, 30 bucks and that's pretty much why I have them. I wear them around the house. I have to go like walk out to the car or something. And lastly, in the slide slash mule department, we have these Clarks, the Trek Mule. Pretty good alternative to the Birkenstock Bostons. Obviously it has the crepe sole. All right, next we have the Needles X Troentorp Clogs. Now these are pretty comfortable. It feels like you're just standing on solid wood. It is not an ideal feeling and uh, hence why I haven't worn them recently because now that I live in New York, that's kind of a big commitment to throw these on. I would like to get back to it because these are like super cool looking. They literally have dust on them right now, but yeah, you know, for now I gotta, I gotta respect the feet. These are not it. All right. I think this is last. I'm sure I probably have others that are lying around somewhere, but for the sake of this video getting super long, this will be the last shoe I show. That is the SLP Saint Laurent, Saint Laurent Lucas boot. They are this lovely tan suede. They really are a boot that I should wear more. I got these a while ago, got a really good deal on them. They go with a lot, but for whatever reason, I feel like they're kind of the forgotten man. So maybe after this video, I will start wearing them more. I overlooked two different shoes, pardon me. First, it was this pair of Blackstock and Weber loafers. All of my shoes are black, so I went and grabbed other black shoes and um, I guess these somehow got past me. These are amazing, I got these recently. They're Vibram sold and they just need a little bit more of a break in and then I'll probably be wearing these a good bit because I sort of go with everything. And back to the derbies, we have this pair of Doc Martens in collaboration with a cold wall. These are super slick looking. I feel like this is like the perfect gray. I don't wear a lot of gray, but I feel like this is just like a very sleek design. I love the translucent sole and I love that the stitching is white. That's all of them. That's all the shoes. Let me know which one your favorite was. Let me know which one was your least favorite. If you want to buy any of them, let me know because I have too many pairs of shoes. Probably not going to let go of the, the ones that I wear a lot, but I do have a lot of shoes, so that might be a problem. Anyways, um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.